<laughs> Thank you for tuning in with Sabasi AT, the branding agency. Today we have with us Geechee Nefertiti. So tell us what you got going on with Geechee. Well, <laughs> I'm an entertainer. So I started off in the local Charleston scene, uh, musically performing, but you know, all of local, you know, local artists I am, like from like Courtney Shop, Courtney the Poet. Um, at UG's, on Katie Street, downtown North Charleston, just, you know, being out here and uh, get my name out there and singing whenever I could. Um, I featured on many tracks of many artists in Charleston again, from Fat Boy to uh, Dirty Dave. Um, I work with uh, Mr. Taylor and 20, shout out to everybody. Um, you know, um, BB Slum made a few of my beats and I like to try to work with people on the local scene because that's just what I do, but I'm an artist. <laughs> I sing all that good stuff. What got you into that? Well, I was raised in the church like everybody else, but also I was raised as a performer. So since I was five, I always played classical piano. So I would attend recitals, I would, uh, attend competitions all over the south and perform so it's just something i've always done and um, i also learned to sing and i found out that i could sing so i joined the choir i was part of charleston city YU choir some of my childhood and i sang at church i sang wherever i could at the radio i did radio station auditions wherever i could do since a little girl mm -hmm. and i always just was interested in being a full-fledged entertainer not just a singer but an entertainer so i got into doing poetry and i started performing poetry but then putting my music into my poetry so i can grasp like a different audience and a larger audience so all my roots come from charleston i keep all my music positive because i'm a parent so i don't want to say anything in my music that later on my kids will be ashamed of so um, I'm just an artist from Charleston man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. I'm, like, I'm just I'm been drinking this um <laughs> Well tell us one of the um, songs you have out that's this, that you would consider your favorite. Alright my favorite song of course is my single royalty and you can look it up on any platform when you Geechee Nefertiti and I spell it G-E-E-C-H-E-E -E -E Nefertiti and um, just like Nefertiti Queen and it's royalty so that's my favorite song because it speaks about love it speaks about what I want in a relationship what I want as a woman who wants a family all that good stuff and uh, it promotes a positive message saying that like we royalty like I'm the queen you're the king that's our princess our princess and we just gonna build and we just gonna stand in love so go listen to it down a bit <laughs> so um do you have any new things coming up as far as your music a new project absolutely I got a new project now I actually relocated to Atlanta so I got my show Atlanta on club and we just like this young lady an interview underground hip hop and artists designers anybody you know who um, do anything in the local Atlanta scene and y'all can find that on YouTube you can find that on Instagram Facebook you can find it anywhere on social media and that's Atlanta Unplugged and I'm the host Nefertiti so that's my news project and hopefully I'll get in the studio soon I got a budget now so I'll be in the studio soon, recording some music. I, had, I interviewed some great artists. Um, I interviewed this artist named Venus. She's a rock nation artist, and she actually was my first guest on Atlanta Unplugged. And she got like a hit song, Throw It Back. Um, I interviewed uh, we got Jamal, the creator. He's a local artist from Charleston. He's actually got a big, big, big buzz in Atlanta. And the man in Charleston, too. Uh, who else have I worked with? I've worked, I've been on the X Factor and I work with some names on there. I like to shout out to my local people, you know what I'm saying? I can shout out to the rest of them boy later, but right now, like all like the people. I'm working with my producer, Didi Air. He's the hotness, Miss Jazz. Shout out to her. Shout out to everybody, man. Are you independent or are you with the label? I'm independent. Okay. Independent artists. Yeah. Do you tend to stay that way? Are you looking for a team to network with? Well, I consider working with a team, um, but 
it's usually what happens is I feel that I want somebody to focus primarily on me. So like if I had like somebody represent me, I would want them to represent and focus on what I got going on. So once I find that and I can find that team of just we're going to focus on Never TV and her brand, and she we help her, I help her, she help us kind of thing, and it'll be like that. But at the moment, I can't do the group thing. I love people, but the group thing is still hard for them. Okay. Do you have any new videos out or coming out? Yeah, I got a video coming out. I okay. Also got a video coming out. I got a new song coming out too. I got a video and a song, so y'all stay tuned in the spring this year. Okay. Yes. Very, very proud of myself with that one. Okay, so since you left us and went to Atlanta, have you been getting any shows out there or done any open mics? Yeah, of course. Of course, I've done a lot of open mics. A lot of open mics. <laughs> <laughs> and shows and showcases. And, you know... But it's, it's something going to, it's, I go into the next level and I never left y'all and went to Atlanta because I actually always <laughs> here anyway. I know, I'm right? I'm in Charleston. Like, I have no choice but to be in Charleston. This is my home. Y'all know what I'm saying? So, I just travel, man. I just travel. Is that your show? It's like in I'm Atlanta? the host. I'm the host. You're a host? I auditioned. I had to okay. audition. And I won the play, so. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been doing so, I actually got an audition. I got the audition for Kim Michelle out there, too, for okay. background singer. I didn't make that one. Oh. But I've been doing some stuff behind the scenes that, you know, That's some good. notable stuff. There's a lot going on in the A, especially if you're an entertainer, you're an artist. It's a good place to be honest with you as an artist and going out there has taught me how to develop myself a little bit more, being in that environment. You know, I'm developing myself a I want to present my brand, just like you present your brand to the world. Yeah. Okay. Tell us something that the people might not know about you. I like chocolate. <laughs> um, what they might not know about me? I mean, I'm kind of like an open book. Do you have any um, other talents? Like, do you play any instruments? Or? Yeah, I play the flute, I play the trumpet, I play the drums. Wow, play, you didn't know to yeah. say all that? <laughs> I play all That's of amazing. That. Yeah, yeah. I play a lot of instruments, right? Like, so you was like a whole band and a person? A one-man band? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a one-man band. And I got a call center. That's something people really don't know. You gotta visit my call center. I have a virtual call center. I'm always hiring. That's something I do do. I would like everybody to know. It's www.rootthecrowdalternatives.info. Okay. So that's one thing I would like y'all to know that y'all might not know. So if you're looking for a job, and I've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. All right, matching people up with jobs and stuff. So check my info, guys. But another thing, I'm graduating from college again. I'll be graduating my bachelor's soon. Well, so congratulations. I'm, yeah, I'm going to school full time. <laughs> okay. I'm a full time student, full time mom, all that good stuff. How many children do you have? Two. two yeah. I homeschool too. So, okay. Yeah. I'm really about the village, so that's something that you might not know. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. So, um, who inspires you in the, the music industry? Who inspires me in the music industry? I'm I, Queen Latifah. Okay. I say it because, you know, she's a, I, I like how she took on the industry. She went in musically, but then she evolved into an image of a brand. I, that's where, that's like a, that's a path that I would, that I am taking as an artist. Okay. Queen Latifah. And she always stood for like empowerment and it was always clean. She always had a clean message, you know. Um, who else? Artists like I love Joe, of course. Like his. Okay, I, I love Joe. Went, oh, <laughs> I actually lived in Philly and was able to be around her people and her. She probably didn't know who it is, but I was able to be in that mix, and that was like so. They just loving people, good people, good artists. And who else inspires me? One more person. 
Erica Badu, because I like how she got all those kids and she still is yeah. just like keep it all together mm -hmm. and present fun to the world. I like that. Okay. Very fun. I like that. And not so serious all the time because nobody got time for that one. If, if there was one thing you would change about the music industry being um, an independent artist, what would it be? change about being an independent artist in the music industry is, you know, um, just people's willingness to work and create and just work and create and not worry about like monetary value and stuff like that. Because, you know what I'm saying, like the purpose of us creating music or creating, you know, is, is to create connections, is to, is to help us all vibe higher, vibe together. And, you know, that's the purpose of life. So sometimes when you're an independent artist and you like an artist, you know what I'm saying, you can't really find artists who out here to work and create art. They out here to just kind of make money and makes it kind of frustrating, especially if you're doing it for the love, you know? Mm -hmm. So I wish it was just a little bit more love amongst everybody because it would be something, it would amount to something whole, great, or something greater than just a dollar, you know? So, so you, you got any merchandise coming out? Merchandise? Mm -hmm. Do I have some merchandise? I sell black suit machine butter. I always do that. I sell it about a pound. But no, I don't have no merchandise. I need some merchandise in it. Mm -hmm. Look at her telling me. She got, she put me on point, y'all. I got no merchandise now. I do hair too. Mm -hmm. I want y'all hair dye. I do okay. stuff like a bunch of skills. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always been independent? Like, have I ever worked like a group of people? Yeah, like have you been I in a group? I've worked in a collective. I've worked in a collective with some artists and writing on their tracks, but never in regards to had a team to support me. No, I support other people here, but I have never been in a team where never had a, team. a primary brand, like brand that they were supporting, was me. You know, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? I haven't had that. No, I always supported somebody else, so I'm always giving love. But my cup running full of so I don't really stress about that. Because I'm so full of love. So like, some people reached out to you and said, Hey, Nefertiti, we would love to help you out and be a part of Team Nefertiti. Would you be down to sit down and listen to what they have to say? No, I would. Because I think it's going to be something. Like the okay. plans that I got for everything, I feel like it would be a great thing. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, I'm in the process of hiring people. Like, it's not... I can't wait for them to come no more. I know, right? <laughs> I just gotta pay a tab. Like, I, I got some thoughts and, you know, creative directors, you know, like stuff like that. So, so you um, like work for freelancers. Yeah, you work with other people and stuff like for songwriting and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And you, uh, do you do songwriting for others? I have. Or ghost writing? Is that what they call it? <laughs> I would say ghost because I am. Yes, I have. Yep, I have. Okay, so how long have you been doing hair? Yeah, did you do that? That's I in your hair now? Yeah, I don't see what comes out. How long have I been doing hair? As long as my mama couldn't fix my hair no more, she couldn't figure it out. So I had to figure it out. So I started like finding out how to do the tracks and stuff and the, the weaves and the braids and the cotton. So you just all around. I had a Kenya doll. <laughs> so my Kenya doll was the first year I did, and that was like. Okay. And all these little black girls can do here. Did you learn how to cook too? Like I, you know how to do yeah, here? Yeah, I'm lucky, man. I come up with a family full of businesses. So my granny had a grocery store. It's called Hilton's Grocery. Mm -hmm. So my granny had a grocery store in the hood on Laville, and I had to work here every day. Every weekend, after church, <laughs> after school, and my granny teach me how to cook. And my daddy mama <clears throat> used to babysit kids and bake cakes, so she taught me how to bake. So I had cooking, I could bake. I know that's right. From okay. scratch. I don't even guess that. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I can cook it, though. Okay. Say, you give me some diabetes if you want it. If y'all want it. <laughs> Well, how would you describe your, you describe your style or your sound? I feel like my style is eclectic, urban, because I am, um, I'm still a little ratchet, a little bit, you know, classy, <laughs> urban. Like, my lyrics are a, a little tad bit more sophisticated in a sense. It's more mm -hmm. the 
but it's probably for like a more intelligent crowd for the things I say. Sometimes I can use slick metaphors, and that's, I do it on purpose because I want people to think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What advice would you give any upcoming singers? I would give, but I would give the advice that if it's something that you really love to do, don't worry about the return. The return should just be the love. Like if you're doing it for the love, do it for the love. Everything else will fall in place. Like whenever you think about any artists out here, you know they had to put the work in or they had to put the time in, and it wasn't. It, it seemed like it would pay off, but if you stick with it, eventually it'll pay off. If it's something that you really love to do, so just don't quit. Just keep pushing. And everything will fall into place, you know? And tell us how the people can find you again. People can find me, they can just Google Gucci Nefertiti. And I'm on every social media outlet, Gucci Nefertiti. You go on Linktree and get a um, list of everything I do. Gucci Nefertiti, G E E C H E E N E F E R T I T I. And um, everything, just Google Gucci Nefertiti. It's gonna pop up. There's no thing well, I do thank you for being on the show with us. Until next time, have a good day. Until next time. Good night. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> good nitrogen. Good nitrogen. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Your majesty.